Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're doing a little bit of Forza Horizon 5 science. For those of you who don't know, new for Forza Horizon 5 is the ability to enter race mode for your vehicle. So, say you have a car that can enter race mode, you can lower down the suspension, raise the rear wing, and so on to give you better performance and handling while going around a racetrack. Let me, let me show you. If I jump out of the Maserati MC Hammer and into the Mercedes AMG Project 1, this is one of the cars in FH5 that actually has a race mode. So take a look at this. Right away on the HUD, you'll notice this little logo in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I can press the left stick down and that will enter the regular mode for the AMG Project 1. So take a look at the suspension, take a look at the rear wing and those front flaps when I click it. So there we go, suspension is already lowered. Those front flaps will close first. Give it a, give, there they go. And then the rear wing will go down. Very, very cool stuff. A lot of you guys wanted to know though, what does this actually change for your vehicle? Does it change the handling? Does it change the top speed? Does it change anything to do with your actual vehicle? Well, that is what we're gonna figure out today. So with this AMG Project 1, we are completely bone stock right now. I wanted to first start things up with a little bit of a top speed test. So. Let's come to the entrance of the highway all the way over here and we'll do two runs, one with race mode and one without, and we'll see if the top speed is any different. Real quick though, before we do get into that, if there is anything else you wanna see in Forza Horizon 5, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get some gameplay of it for you guys soon. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my Forza Horizon 5 videos that I've got in the works right now. There's a ton of stuff. So onto the highway we go, Mercedes AMG Project 1. We've got seven gears in this thing. Let's rip it down the highway and see what speed we can do. Closing in on 200 miles an hour already. There's 200 miles an hour. I think we might get up to seven gear once we get to the downhill section. Still accelerating, still accelerating. That was 208 on that little downhill. We're going up the hill, and right here is where we're going to set our top speed. There we go. There's 208 miles an hour, 209, 210, 211 miles an hour. Shift it up. I don't know if that's really a very good idea, but we'll do the same thing for the other run. 210 miles an hour for the AMG G Project 1. <laughs> awesome. Run number one completed. Let's go all the way back down the highway. Then we'll lower the wing and try it again and see if we get a different result. AMG, turn it around through the center of the highway. All right. So now we pull on over, click our little button, say goodbye to the flaps. The suspension should raise up, I think. There we go, and finally the rear wing drops down. By the way, during that animation where your vehicle is actually changing its state, all of your controls are locked, so you can't rev your car, change gears, or anything like that. You can still spin the camera around, but you can't actually drive while that's happening. Same thing for convertibles, just a heads up. I wasn't even paying attention, but we are absolutely fl- 213, 204, we're going up a hill, and this thing is already going quicker. So it does actually do something. Whoa, 230? That's not, that's not even just like a little bit quicker. That's a lot quicker. 240 miles an hour out of the AMG Project 1. We're wiggling through all of the traffic. 245 miles an hour. It actually does something. No way. Let's go test number two. Let's come to the drag strip and see what speed we can pass through that speed trap at after our wing is up or down. I'm gonna put the wing up and I'll show you what I mean. So right now I'm putting the wing up and all of my controls are locked. You you literally, you you cannot drive. So just just a heads up, if you, if you try to cheese the system, you, you won't be able to. Let's line up in the center of the drag strip right with all of those lights. Wait, the drag lights are working today. In three, two, one, and away we go. AMG Project 1 shifted up through the gears. We actually got no wheel spin there, which is really, really nice. It's going to make this test really consistent. So away we go. Come on. Come on. 168.5 miles an hour. Okay, not a bad speed. What I'm wondering about this test is if your car... Ah, 
guys, the AI decided to de destroy my drag lane over there. So uh, we're just going to ignore that. What I'm really interested to see, though, is if the vehicle is actually grippier in its race state than it is in the regular state. So we'll see how it gets off the line as well and the top speed. So same thing, rev it up and away we go, AMG Project One. Shift it through the gears again, very nicely off the line. No wheel spin, even in the regular mode. We're definitely picking up speed quicker and there you go, 176 miles an hour. Okay. All right, so currently that is two nothing for the regular mode for the AMG Project One. How about we change the stakes though? Chuck this thing back in race mode and maybe let's do a test of braking. Let's do 200 miles an hour and slam on our brakes as we cross that drag strip line at the Horizon Festival. And we'll slam on our brakes and see where we come to a stop. The race mode should definitely be able to win this test and 200 miles an hour-ish. Close enough to 200. We'll say it that white flag behind that stage thing over there. Okay, now I'll chuck the car back into the regular mode and we'll try that again. Here we go, AMG Project One. There is 200 miles an hour-ish. And we're gonna get ready to slam on the brakes now. Yeah, we went past. We went really far past. So what is that? Maybe like an extra 50 feet onto our braking distance? with no race mode. Okay, that's interesting. Speaking of interesting, I do wanna try another thing with this because I'm wondering, right? Race mode will obviously make your car faster around a racetrack depending on how many corners it has. But do you have the freedom to choose your mode going into one of these races? So I've got a race right over here. We're in the regular mode. Let's start up the race and see if we can actually do this race with the wing down. Aha! So take a look at that! My rear wing is up now, so I've now entered race mode because I'm doing a race. So regardless of the state of your vehicle before the race, if your vehicle has race mode, it will always go back to race mode when you're doing a race, which I guess makes sense. I can still see the logo there, so if I, if I do pull over here, no, it doesn't actually do anything, so I can't actually click it while I'm in a race. It's just, it's blacked out. I can click it as much as I want. Nothing is gonna happen. Okay, so unfortunately, we can't actually test the times around a racetrack, race mode versus regular mode. So let's go back to the open world and head over to our speed trap over here. Oh, oh I, I mean, over here, speed zone. There we go. So AMG Project One in front of us, we've got that speed trap. We've got our rear wing up. We might end up doing a couple of different attempts here just because it might not be the most consistent of tests, but let's see. I think it'll feel very different. It might not show in the numbers, but I think the stickiness of this race version is gonna be drastically different. So. A tiny little lift there going into the left-hander. That is completely flat. That is also completely flat. And then this, that is also completely flat. 146 miles an hour. Okay. So Mercedes AMG Project One, we're in the exact same spot as that previous test. We'll rev it up. Just kind of wait for the traffic to get out of our way. And away we go. I think it's going to feel so super, super different with this. So last time going into this left-hand corner, we had a little lift. We've got a much, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I think there's a big difference between the two. I'm obviously trying to push these as hard as I can and I, I don't really know the limits of the vehicles just yet, but this is pretty cool. So rev it up again, away we go. Remember to break for that first corner and probably the ones after it as well. I think we're entering the corner way faster than we were before. Yeah, brake there. We're still under steering, running wide. Then keep it flat through there. Nice. That was flat up there. Flat up there again, shifting up. We're going to have to brake there. A little bit of a corner cut. Jeez. Jeez. It's not even close. No lie. I thought the speeds would at least be a little bit closer than they were. And it would have been more like a feeling thing, like, oh, the car felt better in the corners, but was faster on the straights and made up for it. But 
That's not even close. I'm just gonna give it another go just to make sure that wasn't like a weird occurrence or anything like that. Like, I really was not expecting that result, but slam on the brakes in the corner one, still lifting and coasting through. It's just, it's just not fast in, in the regular mode. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I'm even cutting the corner to try to shorten up the circuit and wow. Wow, okay. Final thing before we wrap this video up. What cars actually have a race mode or a sports mode in Forza Horizon 5? And that is a very, very good question because um, I don't actually have the answer for you. Unfortunately, the time of recording this video, I haven't found another car that actually has a race mode in this game. Even really obvious cars. Say, for example, if I pull over here, swap into, say, a McLaren P1, for example. A McLaren P1 in real life has a race mode. Like, you can see the rear wing is lifted up. And there's no race mode for this car in the game, which is a little bit strange. And what about a sport mode, you might be asking for? Well, I can change car again. And what's a car that would have a sport mode? Maybe a... Maybe a Porsche Panamera. Yes. Porsche Panamera, you can obviously raise and lower the rear wing if you want to when you're in, like, sports mode. And again, when I jump in this thing, nothing is there, unfortunately, which I don't actually know if this is a glitch. I've asked the developers, and I will put a notice up on the screen right now of an update if there is one. You can even see the Porsche Panamera wing come up and go down depending on what speed you're actually doing. So... I don't know if that's a glitch. Regardless though, that is everything you need to know about sports mode and race mode in Forza Horizon 5 as of right now. As per always, if anything does change, I'll be sure to update you guys. And if anything major changes, I'll make another video for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon with some more Forza Horizon 5 gameplay. See you then. Bye.